Wow. Guys, I don't even know where or how to start this video. I'm just being honest. This is some crazy shit. So, this lady, Miss Krug or Miss Krug, I don't know how you say it. K R U G. Y'all can Google it after y'all done watching this. She has been lying her whole professional career. And she's claimed to be half black and half Latina her whole career. And has been a professor at George Washington University and actually has wrote in Essence magazine periodically. I want y'all to just sit there and marinate on that for a second. Now y'all know me. I'm from the East Coast. I've said that numerous times. I actually have family in the Bronx, New York. She claims, and if anybody's been to the Bronx, the Bronx is very cultural. A lot of black people, a lot of Latino, a lot of Puerto Rican, black, Dominican, and a lot of mix of that. What she did was, she knows that in every college department there is around this country, they need to fill that ethnic void or that, that void for minorities and for certain classes and certain situations or whatever. What she did was, she said, I'm going to kill two birds and one stone and say I'm half black and half Puerto Rican. <laughs> and she was able to get away with this shit for years and make money off of it. Imagine if a, a man did that. Imagine if a, 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 any one of these athletes or these, or these black men did some shit like that. Imagine if one of these football or basketball coaches did some shit like that. Imagine when these politicians did some shit like that. A lot of people are saying they should sue her. I think she should have to give back all the money that she's made over the however many years she's been professional. They said she's actually was born to two white parents. I think they said she was born to two Jewish parents and she's from Kansas City, Missouri. Now what gets me is that I know people at George Washington ain't that dumb. And I know it's somebody from the Bronx that at least one person from the Bronx that got into George Washington. Me having family in New York, I can tell off top by your accent, the way you act, the what your diet is, the, the way you go about things, your mental state. I can tell off top whether you're from NYC or not. That's two. I mean, that's number one. Two, like, how the hell is she able to just say that and be from Kansas City? Like, to, to me, the embarrassing part is we let people infiltrate us too easy. We let people infiltrate us way too easy. We, uh, let me focus this here. We, we let people say they are us too easy because we want to be included so badly. And to me, that's, that's, that's a problem. Let me fix this. That's the biggest problem in our community. I just want y'all to be able to see her face. She basically got a tan. Did some curly stuff with her hair and say, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm black and Latina. She made sure she checked off two of those minority boxes so she could get that job and make that money. Wow. And to me, what really pisses me off is I know about how many black people actually have a hard time getting a job who have degrees from college. Who have the credentials for this. Yet there's some white lady posing as a black person or a Puerto Rican person or a Latino person. And she's getting the job yet again. And to me, this is not this is her fault. But this is also the people who hire us fault too. Is because they know there was way more qualified candidates. And they know there was way easier ways to get this shit done but what they did was they said we're going to just keep doing what obama and what democrats been doing to blacks for years lying to them straight to their face and they're just happy to have somebody say that they give a shit about them rather than actually getting shit fixed that we need to get fixed in our community and for america 
I really can't even get mad about this. I remember Rachel Dawes out in 2015. I, what's y'all thoughts, man? This To me, this shit is crazy. I'm just like, wow. Like, I can't even say nothing else but wow. And she got away with this for years. Wrote, that, <laughs> wrote magazines, published by... Man. I'm out. Peace.